I recognize that insignia. Havoc Squad. Thank the stars you're here, soldier. We're under siege. I'm Minister Planet with the Republic's Diplomatic Corps. I was almost killed out there. The Kintan King's gang controls this part of Nar Shadda. They're violent and well-armed Nikdos who hate the Republic. The gang attacked me right out on the street in full view of everyone. My bodyguards were dead before I knew what was happening. I'm very sorry to hear that. The murders aren't the worst of it. My bodyguards all carried Republic passcodes, and now the gangsters have them. With those passcodes, the Kintan Kings can slip right through our security. We'll be defenseless. Don't worry. I'll get those security passcodes back. Those criminals are deadly. Don't underestimate their threat. Recovering our security passcodes from those filthy criminals will save countless innocent lives, including mine. The Kintan Kings who shot my bodyguards are still outside the spaceport. They have the passcodes. I'm sure of it. Oh, this is a disaster, Burish. How can I deal with enemies who don't negotiate? Na pawa golka. Doroni kuna wawunda donko. Minister Planet sent me. I have your stolen security passcodes. I couldn't believe our luck when he sent word you were coming. You have my gratitude. I'm Ambassador Averdon. This is Barish Fanak Toril, one of the system's most prominent business leaders. Welcome. Va fo pa ji, wanda humpa, tuira bampa wula. We're starting to wonder if the Republic was all alone here. Uh, far from it. Barish has been a great friend to the Republic in a dark time. My mission is to establish strong Republic ties on Nar Shaddaa. We need its technological assets to defend ourselves against the Empire. Nar Shaddaa's leaders sold us an entire sector to use as our base of operations. Unfortunately, it's overrun with Kinton King gangsters. Their days are numbered. That's a promise. I should warn you. These are no ordinary criminals. The Kinton Kings want us out of their territory, and they're winning. A Jedi who was helping us was found butchered in the open street. Those gangsters did horrible things to him. Takes more than a few cheap thugs to kill a Jedi. We believe the gang's leader is more... Uh, more than a mere criminal. <laughs> Morgukai are an Ikto cult. Jedi hunters trained to resist the Force. I have the training and armament to take him down. I suppose you'll have no advantage over you. The gangster's attack on Minister Planet was a diversion. Their true goal was hijacking a Republic military freighter carrying cybernetic combat implants. We don't need Kinton Kings with enhanced speed and strength. When you have the implants, take them to an arms merchant named Nurkulus. He secretly works for Barish. Welcome to Nurkulus Arms. If it shoots, stabs, fries, or detonates, I stock it. I see you've got Barish's combat implants. He'll be a happy hut. What's with all the armor and heavy weapons? Nar is neutral territory. I'm not here to start a war. Really? The Kintan Kings must be awfully confused. One thing's for sure. The Mountain won't be happy when he finds out what you did. That's what they call the Kintan King's leader, by the way. The Mountain. Three guesses why. He must be very tall. Wookiees are tall. The Mountain ducks when clouds pass overhead. Only thing the Kintan Kings fear is the Mountain. He's everywhere, all the time. People who rule by fear always have a vulnerable spot. Eh, uh, just be careful that you don't trigger an avalanche when you hit the mountain's weakness. Say, since we're being so cordial and sharing, maybe we can discuss a little side business. Those combat implants are first-rate merchandise. We could, uh, score a sweet profit selling a few in the black market. That technology is a gift from Barish to the Republic. Hey, I'm not saying we take them all. Besides, Barish has other gifts. Alt El Barish, the Kinton Kings used some combat implants before you raided them. He'll believe me as long as you don't disagree. What Barish doesn't know won't hurt him, and that'll make us richer. Sound good? 
I'm not making any deals with you. Hey, take it easy. I was only kidding. Uh, hey, look. Marish is on the hollow. Hey, we got back all those combat implants, boss. Quiggy Matako Nangise. We intercepted a hollow message ordering the Kinton Kings to protect their slave market. They're selling kidnapped Republic citizens. Rescuing civilians is always tricky, but I'm up for it. I'm afraid this will be an especially dangerous rescue. Some of the kidnapping victims are Force-sensitive children, who are passing through here on their way to the Jedi. I shudder to think what those criminal scum have in mind for the children. No one's harming innocents while I'm around. Barish believes the gang's slave market is in the ruins of an old casino. It's time to finish this. There is no need to discuss this further. Please hurry. Free our people before it's too late. Kuta chuta, kaso ya likulira, kanki kum. Una gutaka bola kupi to opera, jihuni pibuka. Killing isn't always the best solution. Ni at am umpa o shuda mo kili mo kanki. O grani tampi o da pushi umpa, pu to la musta. How will you accomplish that? Chobu i kafs to an. Leave those innocent people alone. I'll face you. Ai tutamishka jiho lokuta, kutogi kumpa jiji no lia makichisa. Beg your pardon, but what are you? Wanta humpa muri rava fupa jipampa wula. Just kruni do pat kuri ra do kanki kum. Kabano tase makipuna mali tuta odmishka. Kula woska wabo nutskre uka tekalia. This battle isn't won yet. Toga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. O bagthra wana waga mi bunawa dwe dwipe. Orta noma gipawa do. O wala manga tus me wana wa da blota wicha wa. You're a lying criminal and a traitor. Case closed. You're still only motivated by greed, Barish. You can't buy your way to respectability, you have to earn it. The Kinton Kings are retreating thanks to you. The Republic citizens are finally safe. I should be happier, but... Barish just told me some distressing news. If I'd held back what I knew, it would have been treason. 
Lilith se woto, se goto do moti. Narshada is critical to the Republic's future, and allies are in short supply. I'll work with you, Barish, but I'll keep a close eye on your activities. Ti chai chai kun guta. Thank you for everything you did, especially revealing the truth. You're welcome. As you're among the few people I can trust here, would you take on another matter? A local man named Ilox has requested Republic assistance in the red light sector. If you find yourself there, please speak to him. My name's Ilox. I'm a freelance private investigator. We need to talk. Don't know why one of the Republic's finest is here, but it's good timing. Someone from the Republic needs to know what I've stumbled onto, in case I get disappeared. I don't understand. Are you in some kind of danger? Almost always. But this is different. There's bad business going down at Club Euphora. So some Republic fleet officers go in, but they never came out. I decided to snoop around. Made it to one of the back rooms. It was full of slave cages. Why would a club need slave cages? You'd be surprised what goes on here. But there's more to this. Club Euphora has major security. Way above normal. The guards are boosted with combat adrenals and cybernetic implants. Whatever's happening, it's worth killing to keep secret. Somebody needs to rescue those officers. Nobody puts my people in a cage and gets away with it. Good luck, soldier. Thank you. I'm Lieutenant Rail of the Cruiser Corsani Flame. Getting rescued by Havoc Squad is... kind of an honor. Blast, I could barely see straight. They pump me full of... something. Makes my face numb. Tell me what happened to the other officers. I'm the only one left. Don't know what happened to the rest. These cute little dancers brought me and my shipmates here to blow off steam. Next thing we knew, the dancers were gone. Guards beat us half to death, threw us in these cages like animals. Don't worry. You're safe. I'm rescued. But what about the others? They smuggled us out one by one in waste containers. Nobody came back except for a gunnery ensign. He was different. Didn't even recognize me. Wherever they took him, something terrible happened. I'll look into this. I think I might know where to start. I heard the guards mention the quarantine zone. I think that's where they took the others. Please, you have to save them. Havoc Squad doesn't quit until the job's done. They're not kidding when they call you guys heroes. Thanks for busting me out. I owe you one. Good evening. Dr. Charnik is at your service. I assume you've come to liberate your brothers in arms. That seems only fair. This seems an opportune moment to reveal that I am not Imperial. I merely work... <laughs> worked for them. Killing you isn't part of the mission. Lovely to hear we can be friends. I enjoy meeting new people. Give me a moment and I'll revive the good Captain Trezine and I'm sure he's eager to speak with you. What's going on? You've been rescued. Isn't that wonderful? I don't know how you pulled this off by yourself, but thanks. They killed everyone but me. What was the cause of death? It was gruesome. I, I, I can't bear to think about it. This lunatic doctor's been tearing our bodies apart. Grafting pieces onto Imperial spy so they look like us. A combination of surgery and genetic splicing. Amazing procedure. I'm the first to successfully perform it. Why did the Empire have you perform this procedure on our people? It was all part of a rather ingenious plan. The Empire was secretly replacing Republic fleet officers with its own agents. Men enjoying their shore leave made perfect targets. The Imperials wanted saboteurs throughout the Republic's warships. They planned to destroy the vessels from within. From what Lieutenant Rail said, you've already replaced some of our people. Yes, 
but they'll remain sleepers until they receive a signal to act. There's still plenty of time to apprehend them. You deserve to die, monster. But let's not be hasty. I'll gladly offer my expertise to the Republic. Think of all you could do. To infiltrate the Empire? I... Well, I guess I'd go along with using this filth. The only thing we should do with this horrible man is lock him away. You're right, of course. I'm... I'm not, I'm not thinking too clearly right now. Oh, dear. You people are passing up a golden opportunity. I'll escort this sicko to my superiors for punishment. Thanks for all your help. No problem. Goodbye. Heard there was quite a rumble in the quarantine zone. Guessing that was you. The Imperials were behind the abductions at Club Ufora. I took out their base. Knew this whole deal was over my head. But I didn't know it was that high. I'll be sure to steer Republic people away from Club Euphora from now on. Take care. And if you get a chance, an old friend in the Industrial Zone could use someone like you. His name's Gannick. A non-human who's avoided the Empire's takeover. Most of us don't have that distinction. I'm Gannick. Foreman's my official post, but most of my time spent organizing the Resistance. First the Huts, now the Empire, you know? If you're fighting the Empire, Havoc Squad can probably help. We need help now more than ever. There's a chemical plant nearby. Sources say the Empire's designing toxins to kill specific sentient species. I sent an agent to dig up intel, find out what they're planning. But she's gone missing. The plant is crawling with Imperial Guards, so infiltration's not an option. I need an assault on the plant, head on. We need to get into their mainframe, see what the Empire's plotting. The Empire can't keep any secrets from me. I'll do it. Glad to have you on board. Find the plant's mainframe. Plug this data scanner in, and I'll get remote access. We'll find out who exactly the Empire's planning to murder with their chemicals. I've got access. Excellent. I'll have this security down in no time. Take a minute to rest. Must have been tough fighting through their defenses. Just another second, and... There. I'm in. Here we are. Everything about the toxins, what the Empire's doing with them, and... These... chemicals. The Empire's using them to kill every Evokai on Nar Shaddaa. Probably a favor to the Huts. The Republic won't stand for this injustice. The Empire must pay. We've got to act fast. No telling how many Evokai they've killed already. Looks like these chemicals are used at some kind of extermination factory run by a Commander Vergust. I need you to storm that factory and shut it down, now! I'll strike them immediately. The Empire won't have time to react. Thank you. You will have thanks from the entire Evokai community. Get inside the extermination factory, then find some way to shut it down. <laughs> Nice moves. Thought I was gonna be sick if those Imperials touched me one more time. I'm called Abyss, Republic Agent. Gannick send you? I took down the chemical plant for him. Good thing he found you. His cause is running out of time. Virgost, the commander here, he's a real monster. Once you hit the chemical plant, he stepped up the slaughter. Now Virgost's holed up in his command post, killing Evokai as part of his genocide program. You've gotta take him down. What genocide program? Something about the Empire wiping out non-humans. Whatever the specifics, you've got to stop them. Take out Virgos before more Evokai die. I'll call in Republic support. Now hurry! Stop Virgos and his genocide program's toast! My work's nearly complete. You can't stop me. No one can! Soon you'll just be one more dead alien I'll add to my count! How can you kill thousands of Evokai? I'll show you the Death Machine blueprints if you're interested. Aliens are weak and impure, a blight on the galaxy. I'm carrying out the Emperor's will and gaining key alliances. This is only the beginning. What's the Empire planning? You're going to start killing aliens on other planets? Enough! 
When I present my victims to the Emperor, your body will top the pile. The Empire's invested decades into this operation. It doesn't end here. Shut up, Fergost. You're finished! What are you waiting for? Kill the monster! Wait. I know everything about the Empire's other extermination factories. You can't afford to lose me. He's bluffing! Kill him! You're smarter than her, soldier. You need me alive. Enjoy Republic custody. You'll spend the rest of your life there. I hope you're right about this. Leave the decisions to your superiors, girl. I'll look forward to your interrogation. That felt good. Great job taking him down. Republic troops just contacted me. You've taken the factory, and Calder, where is she? Over here, Chief. Your buddy sprung me. Captured Commander Virgos, too. Should have killed him if you asked me. He's worth more to the Republic alive. True. Whatever Imperial secrets he hides, we'll find them. I've got to take off. The factory survivors are coming in now, and they need my help. The Evokai are in your debt. You've given us the strength to keep fighting for our home. Ganek's right. You should be proud. Now go on. I'll take over from here. Manalanyam perlo. Amka kalami nayakira lebua. Keep your voice low. These buildings are abandoned, but Imperial probe droids do sweeps periodically. Zan Loren, Republic Intelligence. Thanks for checking in. I've heard you've made yourself a hero to some of the alien refugees around here. Care to try your hand at a prison break? Care to give a few more details before I commit? Good choice. Ever consider throwing over the service for the SIS? This is about the Empire. The atrocities they hide behind Nar Shaddaa's neutrality. This is Shadow Town. Prison city filled with the Empire's worst assassins and madmen. Kept on ice till Papa Sith needs them. Nar Shaddaa just gets more charming the longer I stay here. Tell me about it. I've been stationed here six years. That's why I want to help these guys out. The Empire holds prisoners of war, our men, and the worst of this whole mess. Camp 27. We know they're holding Akodomi here. One of the Jedi heroes of the Battle of Sullust. And we want him back. When we send our men into battle, it's with the assurance that we'll come for them if they end up in a place like this. Absolutely. These are the guys who put their lives on the line. The security in Camp 27 is tighter than I've ever seen. Their access codes are in parts, split among teams of guards so no one enters alone. Every few minutes, they swap out the entire code. Got a plan in mind? You'll need to find the camp wardens when they're outside the shields. Get the codes from them. The whole thing mine. No one man's got more than one part. And once I've got them, you want them here, or am I heading in? Come back. I need to get an imprint of the codes. In case you don't make it out again. Good luck, and go quickly. If the codes change before you're in, we're lost. I've got the codes. All right, just let me scan them. If this doesn't work, at least our techs have somewhere to start the next time. By the end of today, Camp 27 will be a memory. And it's one I'll do my best to forget. The codes will only be good for a little bit longer. Hurry and use them to get inside, then access the security console, and let me know you're in. If you can pull this off, you'll be rescuing a true hero of the Republic. Hang on. The slices are trying to tap the line. God, that's fantastic. I can't believe you made it into Camp 27. On your own, I mean. We've gotten plenty of guys in the other way. Don't let it go to your head, though. There's no telling what the Empire's hiding in there. Do we have cell numbers or something? Let's get in and out fast. Now we've got no specs on this place. Nothing. But anyone in the cells, assume they're one of ours and spring them. Your main target is Akko Domi. He's a Jedi. Led the rescue effort on Solace that kept the Empire from enslaving half the planet, but got caught himself. I'll save him. You don't need to convince me. The Republic's lucky to have you. 
I'll send a team to wait outside the shields. They can back you up if you need it on the way out. Good luck. Please don't kill me. I, I can help you. W whatever you're looking for, I, I can find it. I've come to free the Jedi. Akodomi, are you really asking to... Uh, n n never mind, that that's who you want. I, I can summon him, no, no problem. R right here. Now I'm, um, I'm just going to wait uh, over... Who comes before me? I am Akodomi, the lord of Camp 27. No one seeks me out. Soldiers beg with their final breath to perish, rather than to look upon my face. Come back to the Republic. Turn your back on what the Empire made you. How tiresome. Will you offer me mercy now? Healing? A chance to turn back to the light? I've been here six years. I've seen your Republic heroes turn on each other like dogs for a scrap of meat. I've seen human nature at its core, and there is no light there. There may still be a way to heal you. It will be a pleasure to see that naivete melt away beneath the torturer's lash. Slaughter him, my students! Slowly. You liked that. I feel the darkness in you. The joy you felt at my apprentice's deaths. Will you kill me as well? Or does your hatred demand more? Would you rather see me scream? Draw it out for days while I beg you to end it? Return and you can be the man you once were. Fine. Make your empty gestures. Save my life. Inviting me into the Republic is like bringing poison into your flesh. Sooner or later, it will kill you. We'll take him from here. There's a Jedi healer arriving on the next starship. Never take your eyes off him. He's still a danger. No one can be vigilant forever. And when they let down their guard, all will learn the magnitude of your failure. All right, boys. Gag him and drag him. Let's get out of here. We've long had a slice into the intercom at Camp 27. I heard everything. Akodomi is still called Savior by so many people, but he had so much evil inside him. Perhaps the Jedi Council can still find something left of who he used to be. It's giving him that chance that makes us better than the Empire. When they offer their prisoners torture, we should offer ours balm. Eventually their people may see which is better. Thank you for shutting down that factory of horrors. There are free men of the Republic who'll bless your names each night. We will turn this place. I swear it. Nar Shadda must join the Republic, so the Empire can never hide such monstrosities again. <laughs>